Come on in and sit down, sweetie. Join us. I, I will. I just, um, I need to tell you something first, all of you, actually. What's up? I don't know how to say this. Say what, sweetheart? I'm moving. Across town? No. To Los Angeles. Jailbait, the music video, went viral. So the label wants me to record an album with them. They want me to fly to LA and start as soon as possible. <gasps> Somebody say something. What about James? James wished me well, and, um... Cole is gone now, so... What about, what about Hope? I mean, how long do you plan to be away from your daughter? Oh, no, Ho Hope is coming with me. Langston Mark offered to help. Sweetheart, are you... What about school? Are you gonna just drop out? S school will always be there, and this may be the only chance I have to... F to follow my dream, for it to come true. Don't you love us anymore? <laughs> of course I love you. I love all of you. I'm gonna miss you so much, but it's not forever. I'll be back, right? I hope that you'll be happy for me. Of course we're happy for you. Yeah, this, this is great, Star. Congratulations. I would love your support. You're not gonna get it. You will move to Los Angeles, California over my dead body. You're not going anywhere. Dad. Yes, I am your dad. And I've missed basically your whole life. You're not gonna run out of me now. I'm not. Leaving all of you is going to be the hardest thing that I've ever had to do, and I've done very hard things. You certainly have. But you guys... I mean, you've always been there. Fighting my battles and... fixing my mistakes, and I've relied on you all for too long. I need to rely on myself. Okay, well, you know what? I hate to admit this, but, um... Star's right. She's not our baby anymore. Speak for yourself. from the final episode of Fraternity Row. As we close, I turn to some comments from publisher Victoria Lord, whose late daughter Megan once headlined the cast, playing twins Roxanne and Ruby Bright. Let's take a look. Megan actually passed away nearly 20 years ago, but I, I still to this day get stopped on the street by Fraternity Row fans who remember the characters that she played. And some ask how she's doing or will she ever return. But I must tell you that there are times I get so caught up in the show that I find myself wondering the same thing. The fans are so loyal, so passionate, so invested in their stories. I always ask how they started watching Fraternity Row. Some of them were stay-at-home mothers taking a break before their children came home from school. Others were college students with free time between classes. Many of them inherited a love of the show from their parents or their grandparents, who were longtime fans themselves. I remember the first time I tuned into Fraternity Row. I was hooked instantly. I needed to know what would happen next to these fascinating people. <laughs> would the hero and the heroine find their way back to true love? Would the villains get their comeuppance? Or would their crimes go unpunished? Would loving families overcome their obstacles? Or would their troubles prove too difficult to surmount? Ultimately, that's what soap opera is about. Families. Close families. Rival families. Even families that are unexpected. <laughs> Or the ones we choose for ourselves. 
And when a show is lucky enough to be on the air as long as Fraternity Row has been on, these families become extensions of our own. The audience might be upset when a favorite actor leaves, but they're always willing to welcome a new one, even when that new cast member is quite different than the one being replaced. After all, this is a place where people come back from the dead, go off to grade school in the morning, and come home from high school in the afternoon. Because for every new face, every new couple, every new family, there are long familiar faces. Some who have grown up before our very eyes. And a few more we hope to watch grow up. We know them so well. They've become our friends. We yearn for their happiness, especially when it's hard won. We laugh as they laugh. We cry as they cry. And we can't imagine doing without them. And when things are at their very worst on the show, that's when we seem to enjoy them the most. There's just one thing we have to do to keep them in our lives. Tune in tomorrow. Well, I love the ending. It was cheap. They just wanted to shock us. What's this sex change? Uh, that is um, a conversation that we are going to have later when you're a little bit more grown up. That's what that is. OK, got it. I liked it. I did. I, I, I especially liked the part where Moon stayed with her family instead of chasing after eternity. Nice try. Is there anything I can say to make you stay? There isn't. You just keep doing what you're doing. Being my dad. I'm only just a phone call away. Well, you better take my calls. And there's gonna be a lot of them. <laughs> only as many as Statesville will allow, Todd.